putting prices on some essential depot fragrances and to put them out on the shelf and I said oh what does that one smell like and she was telling me and we were smelling and I was like oh crap you know I should do a video mm -hmm. because you know sometimes it's like you buy it but is it gonna be really strong scented does it smell good you know what's it gonna smell like it's so so I thought well you know let's just do a smell-a-thon so good I know but we can't tell them what that one is yet it's at the middle we have to start on one end or the other we're gonna do vanilla first oh I said you had an order I, I got I, I was unorganized okay so this is the vanilla I didn't like the French vanilla Maybe I just don't like the smell of French vanilla, but I don't like the French vanilla, so I don't buy the French vanilla anymore. Uh, but this is the vanilla, and I like the vanilla. The vanilla is what I would call a weak scent. Mm. Um, it's not like, oh my God, ooh, that smells so good. It's like a weak scent, but then so is normal, the scent of vanilla. Vanilla is not a real overpowering scent. So, no. you, so you might have to put, I normally put about two ounces in 11 to 12 bars of soap. So you might want to put three. I don't go past three ounces in 11 to 12 bars of soap because I find that the cure time gets much slower. Um, so, uh, and you know, you might put something with the vanilla, but you can make just plain vanilla. But one of my favorites is adding coconut to it, which is also a lighter scent because coconut is not a real strong scent. Mm. And you put coconut vanilla together. Oh, Ooh, that one's nice. That one is so nice. your coconut is what we would call a medium scent. It's not weak. It's just a medium scent that you will put at least probably two ounces of in, uh, in 11 to 12 bars of soap, an essential depot mold this is the size of soap I'm talking about. This is a 4.8 uh, bar of soap um, to six, and I mean to five. So a roughly five ounces, slightly under bar of soap, 11 to 12 of them. We're talking about half of this bottle. All right, so coconut and vanilla, they're both in your medium scent. If they're the only thing you're putting, gonna put in the bar and you like the scent to really pop out and say howdy, you're gonna have to put a little extra, okay? All right, so we put the coconut here with the coconut so I don't do it twice. Okay, this is a new one from, for us, Pumpkin Delight. For Thanksgiving, we thought somebody might like Pumpkin Delight. Oh my gosh, it smells very cinnamony, very clovey. But it definitely smells like a pumpkin pie. It, yeah, it smells like a pumpkin pie. Yeah. I really expected that it to have more of a pumpkin smell. Yeah. But this is more of a pumpkin pie. It says pumpkin delight, and it has a picture of a pie, so I don't know why I didn't get it, but if I was naming this, I'd name it pumpkin pie. And it's a very jump out and get you scent, so this one here, you need to start with just an ounce and see where that's at once you stir it all in. And it smells, definitely has that cinnamon, clove, pumpkin pie smell. And the pumpkin is not so overstated that like if you wanted to add it to, let's see, do I have one here that would go good with that? Mm. Um, if you wanted to add it to something yeah, I was looking at the maple sugar, possibly maple sugar. Add it to the bay rum, but add it to like an apple smell or a peach. Like if you had a, pe I think there's a peach, a peach blossom. This yeah. is the lemon blossom. It's up there. But, but if you added the, the pumpkin delight to peach blossom, you would have sort of a peach pie smell in my opinion. Very cinnamony, clovey, and uh, peachy. Because the pumpkin in this really is understated. I mean, it's very understated. Do, do you like pick up, oh my God, pumpkin? Or do you pick up pumpkin pie because of the clove and the cinnamon? I, I pick up pumpkin pie. Yeah, pumpkin. so, it's so pie. yeah, so if you added that to the peach blossom. Peach blossom. Why is it? I don't know. 
Yeah. Hold my time. Yeah. For some reason, the lid didn't. The pla hmm, Give me that. You do it. <laughs> do we need scissors? No, you got it. Okay. So if we added the pumpkin pie, yes, to the peach blossom, you're going to have a peach pie smell. So that's a possibility. All right. <clears throat> so what was that one? Pumpkin. Oh, that's the pumpkin. All right. So now this one I'm sort of excited about bay rum. So people that want to have like, they might, you might even do bay rum with green tea. Do a green tea tincture uh, or green tea, um, make some green tea, really, really strong green tea. Then steep it down all day on the stove and get it to where it's so condensed and then add it to your uh, soap and then put bay rum in there. Or maybe you might want to put actual rum in the soap. Mm. You know? That's kind of nice. Yeah. It smells familiar. It smells like rum. Yeah. It really smells like rum. And if you put some coconut, mm. coconut and the rum and made coconut rum and then made, uh, there we go, add coconut and the baked rum together and then use coconut milk in your soap, that would be a really great choice. And I would call the bay rum, it's not, it's like stronger than medium. I'd call it in between medium and strong. So it's not like, wow, oh my gosh, that smells so awesome. It's like, ooh, that really smells great. That's a good, powerful scent, but it's not like super, super. Okay, so look, here, oh yeah, here's the bay rum. Bay rum and coconut would be awesome. All right, dragon's blood. Mm -hmm. We're very excited about Essential Depot having dragon's blood. Yes. Oh, it's very, oh, and this one's gonna leap out and get you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. I love that one. You, you can get it way off the bottle. So you start with an ounce and then work up if you want. You need to make me something with that. Mm -hmm. This is really, really nice. Really smells like dragon's blood to me. I think that's going to be a hot seller. Uh, okay, yeah. Ocean I'm Breeze. I'm going to snag one of these. Oh, you just put that back <laughs> on there, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so this one is Ocean Breeze. Uh, medium scent, not really gonna jump out and get you, but definitely, uh, definitely a, a nice smell. Definitely makes you think of the ocean. It kind, of, it kind of has like a suntan lotion kind of. Yeah, makes, yeah, yeah. Makes you think and, of, you know, the, of, of, of the ocean. And if you added some extra coconut to that, or pineapple, they have pineapple Ooh, too. Okay. Coconut, pineapple would be awesome together. Coconut, pineapple, and vanilla would be good together. And that, the bay, and that the bay rum with coconut and pineapple added would be nice. But this ocean breeze. Oh yeah, the ocean breeze with some pineapple. And the pineapple, it comes out and sees you. So it's, it's not a, one of the medium scents. So you're a, sitting on the beach with a tiki. Yeah. You could call it a bay rum mixer. Or, I don't know. You could... You know, what's your favorite bay rum drink that's got pineapples in it? Name it that. And uh, so the, but the ocean breeze really makes you think of sitting out in the ocean. I even get the breeze part of it, not just the, you know, the coke, the, the, the suntan lotion. Like I, I smell like the suntan <coughs> lotion and a little of that salty briny. Yeah. And, you know, and, yeah, the breeze is in there. Yeah. The breeze is in the there. Breeze. And it don't just smell like coconut, uh, coconut um, stuff. No. The, what is it? Sunscreen. It don't no. smell like that. Just sunscreen. It, yeah. it really has a breeze to it. Yeah. Okay, cherry blossom. This one's new for us. Mm. Oh, I'm particularly fond of cherry blossom. Yeah. This one's a really, uh, a medium scent, wouldn't you say? That one's very light cherry blossom. Yeah. Yeah, we might even call that a very light scent. It's very light. So this one's not gonna leap out and find you, and uh, and it's not gonna be real super strong. Of course, you know what it smells like in the bottle and what it does in soap can sometimes be two different things. Yeah. But in my opinion, the cherry blossom is gonna be a very faint. I bet you, you may have to put three ounces in your soap to get a good mixed, smell. I mixed it with that one, the cherry blossom with this one here. Magnolia. Yeah. I think you get a nice smell. Oh, but magnolia is just so awesome all by itself. I know. And magnolia is come out and see you. You ain't gonna need a lot of magnolia to make magnolia happiness in your soap. Yeah. Magnolia is awesome. 
and it smells just like a magnolia. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Woodland fragrance. Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect that. Yeah. I expected it to smell like pines or something. But it doesn't. It doesn't. Mm. It really I'm makes, not exactly it, you sure. You actually get a little bit of earth. You get a little green. And it almost has like a tobacco background, but it's not. It's, yeah. it's like this deep tone in the background that just really secures the scents. Nope. It really makes you think about walking in the woods in yeah. a, with a, you know, with a, a, a nice forest. A nice it's, forest. A nice forest. A nice wet forest. A fresh wet forest. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. Fresh, wet we forest. like it. We can't exactly tell you what it smells like, except for it smells like the woods. And I like think it. it would make a really wonderful scent for a man's soap or like, bath products. It's kind of like the woods at spring. Springtime woods. There you go. Yeah. Cle oh, and, and on the woodland, let's see. I'd call it a medium scent. It's not weak. Yeah, it's, it's a, a medium. medium scent. At least two ounces, probably. Uh, clean cotton. This really makes you smell, you know, your regular scent, clean free sheet. You yeah. know that clean cotton sheets yeah. laundry done, and kind of and it's a medium scent. So at least probably two ounces. Could these in. be put in laundry detergent? Yes. Mm. These can be put, these are skin safe, but you can use them in non-skin safe ways, such as in your tart burner, mm. uh, you know, um, in candles. I, I want some of that dragon's blood in my laundry detergent. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this is red wine. Yes. Red, red wine. I think it smells just like red wine. Mm. It does smell like red wine, but it's missing that alcohol burn. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have the alcohol back note, does it? No, it doesn't have that alcohol back note. Okay. Well, hey, babe, it's like, what do you think? Does that smell like red wine to you? It's close, but it's missing that alcohol background. Uh, okay. It smells like something I've smelled before, but not necessarily wine. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> it smells like something I've smelled before, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it smells like red wine, except for you don't get that sniff of the alcohol in your the, nose. The, the alcohol that, that burns. Yeah, that burn from the stain. Yeah. You're right. Okay. And, and it's a medium scent, one to two ounces. We get to do this one now. Ooh, I love that maple sugar. I love I love me some maple sugar. Oh, it smells awesome, don't it? And it's it's a come out and get you, in my opinion. So it's won't have to have a lot. Yeah, I'm just. Gonna... Well, hello, kitty, kitty. Are you coming to see us? Are you the bodega cat? Yeah. Are you the she bodega says cat? We're in her space. She's been. Are grumpy. we on your counter? Come here, kitty. kitty. She's been. Get, get her some treats. Okay. Say hi to you. She's been grumping over these bottles being in her area. Yeah, she. This is where she meets and greets customers. She has a responsibility, don't you, baby? There you go. There's your tweet. There you go. Mm. There you go. Is life better now? Have you gotten your treats? She's a bodega cat, so that means that she's in charge of pest control. And she's a custom, in charge of customer relations. Mm -hmm. um, customers uh, have to be screened by her uh, before they can um, participate in shopping. And being screened means that they freaking pet her. It's like, you're supposed to pet me first, then I'll let you shop. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Seriously, it's like she chases them all around the store. And she'll go, meow. And they're like, she's, she's like, going to bite meow. me. Meow. But if the mom, mom. but the mom don't work, she's like, mom. <laughs> and people will look at, and I'll go, excuse me, um, she just wants you to pet her. Yeah. Oh, is that what she wants? Oh, well, come here. And then they're like, oh, you're so awesome, you're so lovable. Yeah. And she's like, God, 
world were these people dance or what? Yeah. Mama had to tell them. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have to tell them. I'm like, she will not bite you. Yeah, I'll tell her. You could ignore her, but she won't go away. Not to <laughs> pet her. Yeah. Okay, so she said, I'm the bodega cat. That yeah. is personal pest control of a business. Yeah, we had one lady that ignored her the entire shopping trip. And so when she put her soaps up here, the kitty cat immediately jumped up here and knocked her soaps off. <laughs> She did. She did, Mom. She did it in a wild run. Like, it was dash up on the counter, knock that stuff off, and off, off she went and back to the back. She was <laughs> mad. Was you mad, baby? She ignored her the whole trip. She was like, I can't, I can't, I just don't pet. And I'm like, I'm sorry. You're taking your, your, your shopping trip into your own hands and you ignore the cat. That's right. And everybody loves her. We have people that oh, stop yeah. in just to see the yes. cat. They're not here to shop. Yeah, there was we one just that, yeah. was coming through, and we wanted to. We parked two blocks away and walked all the way over here just so we could see the cat. Mm -hmm. I have a little line in the morning. Sometimes they'll, she'll be in the window, and they'll be ooing over her. Yeah, she'll be in the window. Yeah, yeah. She's in charge. Mm -hmm. Um, what is that? This is sun and sand. I'm not fond of this smell but men like it in a candle, mm. the sudden saying, I, yeah, mm. but in a candle, <coughs> when men were saying what they would actually buy, okay, if they were buying a candle for themselves, sudden saying won out over all the others. So I keep sudden saying, and my customers who make soap and want a man smell, they do sudden saying. Sudden saying, I don't like it. When you smell it, you think, oh, that's going to jump out and get me. But when you put it in soap, it does take a two full, a whole two full ounces at least in a in 11 to 12 bars. Um, and and, um, and <laughs> Bridget and I, we're not that fond of it. I mean, but men are fond of that. I don't like, I don't like it. Mm, no. They're out of the one I'm really fond of. They have another one. And they've lost their supplier on it. Which one is that? I forget. I, I, call, I, I called in and I begged, when are you going to have that back on the website? And they said they lost their supplier on it and they're looking for another supplier. So. And what's it called? I can't remember. But it was just really great men's smell. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. But I loved it. Mm -hmm. Ah. English This lavender. is English lavender. And it's really nice. It, I don't think it would take a lot mm. in soap. Yeah. It adds a floral note. It's very to the. It's a French. It's very. It's very French lavender. I mean, it says English lavender. Excuse me. English. But it has that French lavender floral. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's very prim and proper. Yeah, very prim and proper. Mm -hmm. Great in soap. Uh, if you let's say you wanted to add essential oils, but you're new and you can't afford to put six ounces of essential oil of lavender in something, you could put one ounce of regular lavender and then add this, which is much more economical to purchase, and you would have you know a blend. So you would have some real essential oil of lavender in your soap, and it's a good smell. Uh, you don't have to use a whole lot on that one. Okay, my favorite chocolate. Oh my gosh, we love the chocolate. You just want to drink it. It smells like a Tootsie Roll. Oh, it does. It smells just like a Tootsie Roll. That's what it smells like. It's a Tootsie Roll. It smells like a chocolate Tootsie Roll. And mm -hmm. when I make products with it, like if I put it in like bath oil or massage oil, I'll have men walk up and say, is this lickable? Because it smells so good, you want to lick you it. You want it. Like, there was a bar of soap you made when we first started out that was chocolate, chocolate, cocoa, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. And people were like, is this fudge? Can I eat this? Yeah. I'm like, no, you can't eat that. It's soap. It's soap. <laughs> you can't eat that. So, <laughs> the chocolate is my all-time favorite. It does not take a lot in soap. Love chocolate. It's just awesome. Just awesome. Lemon blossom. Lemon blossom. I think I like lemon blossom. I've had it before. Yeah. I like that one. So yeah, it's a lemon head. Yes, it has the lemon head smell. Yeah, it's a lemon head. But it's not as strong as the lemon head. It's a it's a nice soft. But it is head. a reach out and get you scent. It's not one of those where you're gonna have to put a whole lot in there to get the smell. It's a it, of course likes their soap to go. Oh my God, that 
it smells so awesome. You know. Yeah. Our, 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 our rule of thumb is if it doesn't burn the nose hairs, then it ain't strong enough. <laughs> like seriously. Like she pours them in there in that hot soap. And we're stirring, and if it ain't making you smart, it ain't strong enough. Yeah, it, when you get down and smell it when it's fresh and hot in there and you've just stirred it up and you don't go, oh my God, did I put too much? It ain't right. No. Mm, it ain't right. Because once it cools, and so it. this definitely doesn't have the lemon grass, that green grass background note. It does, it smells like a lemon drop, but it's really mild. It has a more real smell but yet it doesn't smell like lemon essential oil. It, it, it's a yeah. blend and it does sort of that lemon drop smell. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, this one's orange. But that lemon drop, I think that means like a lemon candy drop. Yes, it is. It's a yeah, lemon so candy. Yeah, so it's supposed to smell like lemon candy. Yeah. Oh, the orange cinnamon is one of my favorites. It comes out and sees mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Doesn't take a lot in soap. Really, and really nice. I like to add, if you're doing this, I like to add um, a little bit of orange essential oil or tangerine essential oil to a soap that this is in and beef up the orange smell in it. It's good like it is, but when you add a little real to it, it's even better. Yeah. And so... Because you want to burn the nose hairs. <laughs> no, it just makes it smell more real. <laughs> Rose garden. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. I haven't yeah. smelled it yet. Did you like it? I haven't smelled it yet either. I've been waiting. Like I smelled like oh, dragon's blood. This makes you think of your grandmother's Avon rose smelling colognes and powders yes. and lotions. I mean, yes. this is awesome. It's Mobile Magnet's bathroom. <sighs> yeah. It really smells like a rose too. I mean, it truly smells. It has that earthy green and the rose all in one. It really smells rose. For someone who likes a rose product for either soap or bath product, even a candle, whatever you're gonna do with this, they're gonna love this. Yeah. We gotta get more of that next time. Uh huh. I just got one because I didn't know. First time to use it. Oh, I love the green tea. If you're making a tea, a green tea soap, um, this is the perfect uh, compadre to add to the mix. Mm. It is mild. Um, but green tea has a mild smell, so a green tea soap that smells really strong would just not be right. That's a very pleasant mild. It's yes. Very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. It's not overpowering. Uh huh. It's, 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 it's perfect. It's there. It's there. Yes, it's perfect. It's not. Nice. So, like, nice. you know, you could make a kelp soap with, with green tea in it. Kelp? Yeah, put kelp in it and put this in as a scent, green tea and kelp. I think that would be really popular amongst people. The green tea fragrance oil, I highly recommend it um, to mix with, you know, because a lot of people want to make green tea soap, you know, where you make your tea and then you steep it all day long and let all the, you know, get a bunch of the water out and condense it and then just measure it up in the ounces you need and poke it in the freezer and then just pull one out when you're making the green tea soap, let it thaw. However many ounces, let's say you're doing a double batch, so that's 22 bars roughly. You would want to use at least six to eight ounces. So you would remove six to eight ounces, whatever you've got in green tea, from your water. Put all of your lye into the water that's been reduced by six to eight ounces, depending on what you're using in tea. Pour that into your oils, stir it all up, and then add, in three to five minutes later, add your melted green tea liquid and then stir it up and cook. And you're gonna love that. And then add green tea fragrance. Mm -hmm. That would be totally rocking. Yeah. So is there any fragrances out there we should tell them about that you particularly like? Over there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These were just the ones we were currently doing. Um, I think. you know they might not have one of these look and see if there's anything else that needs to be done this is papaya I love that one. Oh, it smells very papaya it doesn't smell like one. this would need a whole lot either in soap mm-hmm very come out and find you papaya I like that this is pear fantasy Ooh, this is nice. so it definitely has a pear smell 
Um, it, like it says, pear fantasy. It's it's got more than just pear. Like this says papaya passion, but it just smells like papaya. Where this has like a little other note to it that I can't really put put my finger on, but it smells really good. Pear fantasy. Um, and it but it doesn't have that strong pear and it's a medium scent so you'd have to have a little bit more soap and then this one i really love this one too oh the yeah butterscotch. okay so this is gardenia fragrance it smells just like a gardenia it has a powerful scent so it's going to come out and get you you're not going to have to have as much to do it this is butterscotch i love the butterscotch Ah, I love that. It, it, it smells like butterscotch, but it's not a hundred percent butterscotch. Do you find it that way? It smells like the the butterscotch. The it, 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 it almost has like a wine background smell to it. You smell it. Okay. I mean, it smells just like butterscotch, but it, the little thing that the wine was missing, it has to me. Yeah. You might put a butterscotch red wine. <laughs> I just, don't think so. Let's see. Let's see. Where's the red wine? Where's that's the, okay. That's okay. Where is that? Where is it? Anyway, that? I want to sniff them together. This one is a medium scent to a little bit more than medium. I don't think it would take a whole lot, like but it's not like leap out there and get you like the chocolate is. Um, honeydew. Smells just like one of those green honeydew melons. Mm -hmm. It'd be a mild scent. Doesn't leap yeah. out and get you. But then a honeydew doesn't have a mild scent. You can't make a mild scent out of a honeydew and it'd be right. Lily of the Valley. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It, it has a floor. Okay, everybody. Uh, my battery died. So we were on Lily of the Valley. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what I thought about Lily of the Valley? Let's smell it again and we'll see. It's very clean. It's a very clean scent. Mm -hmm. It doesn't 100% go Lily of the Valley. But it smells like Lily of the Valley. It's yeah. just, it's not like pop out. You said it wasn't quite right either. Yeah. yeah. It's just not quite Lily of the Valley. Yeah. It's missing a little spark. Yeah. It, it really good. just has a very clean smell to it also. Yeah. A very floral, light floral clean smell. Yeah, um, like clean cotton sheets. Oh, co yeah, like clean shot cotton sheets. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. Pomegranate. Get these other. We already did pineapple. Did we do pineapple? Yeah, I think we already did that one. Yeah, pineapple is. Make sure. Pineapple is come out and see you. Not gonna need a lot. Very much smells just like you opened up a can of pineapples. Yep. You know the can of pineapple with the sugar syrup. It has a little bit of a sugar syrup back note. It. I mean, to me, it does. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. Okay, uh, uh, we just did Lily of the Valley, so go put that one up. Mm -hmm. And I want to do the florals and the berries. Right here. That one's a floral. Yeah, I know, but it's these blends that they have here. Okay, okay pomegranate. <sighs> Smells just like pomegranate to me. A medium scent, very nice. But then pomegranate is not a leap out and get you smell. So that's right for it to smell that way. Okay, so now we have berry breeze, passion fruit, and Fruit Fantasia. Fruit Fantasia was one of the first ones of these I ever used. Yep. Very berryish. I don't think it's a red berry smell. Or it's not a blueberry smell. What is, what is that? <coughs> it's berry. Well, no, it's, it's Fruit Fantasia. It's like... This is a... The Berry Breeze... Is a very red berry, blueberry. Yeah, this this is more like papayas and oranges. So it's more of a tropical 
Yes, it's very okay. it's very tropical. It's like that mixed blend you get at Walmart, you know, that's mm -hmm. already pre-cut and so it'd be good. Buy. It'd be good to add the papaya with this one. Yes, fruit fantasia with papaya would be awesome. Yeah, and this is a medium scent where your your berry breeze is a come out and get you smell. Mm -hmm. um, and then here is floral garden, floral bouquet, and passion fruit. So these are florals. I'm gonna do the fruit. Very, almost very Ooh. come out and get you. Yeah. And that one. And it has a tropical, but also has like a like the pomegranate yeah. tropical smell, not just like the coconut pineapple smell. Yeah. It's 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 florally but kind of fruity too. Yeah. So I like passion fruit. That's a nice one. It's a. And it wouldn't take a lot in soap. Nope. Okay. Floral bouquet and floral garden these two are very popular in the store i'm totally gonna make me some liquid laundry to talk okay about. this one has more of an earthy floral smell you know like fresh flowers off the side of the road did i get it right yeah and this one has more of a bouquet smell yeah, so your are, floral is garden more is more bouquet even though this says floral bouquet that one's more like wildflowers. Yeah, more like wildflowers or floral flower bouquet. Floral bouquet is more like wildflowers. What's this one? Yeah, that's more like you know planted. Yeah, you planted know. flowers. So basically, we have garden. we have wild and we have domesticated. Yeah, domesticated is your floral garden, and floral bouquet is your is your wild. Is your wildflowers? Both of them are sm smell really good. I like the floral bouquet the best, and both seems to be coming out and see you good, so it wouldn't take a lot in soap. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're done with this. All right, and then baby powder. I don't sell the baby powder good. I really thought I'd sell the baby powder good. And you know what it smells like? It smells just like baby powder. Does people not make anything for babies anymore? What's wrong with you people? No, they're too worried. They're just too worried about the FDA and harming their little bundles of joy. It's just baby powder fragrance. Make a plain soap, put baby powder in it. A goat's milk soap, put baby powder it's scent in it. It'll burn their eyes. Okay. Don't put it in their eyes. I love the baby powder. It comes <laughs> out and sees you baby powder. Don't take a lot in soap, baby powder. I love the baby powder. Nobody buys a freaking baby powder. Yeah. Okay, green apple. Smells just like a green apple. Has that green apple bite to it. Yep. Come out and get you. Doesn't take a lot in soap. Love it, green apple. Yeah, you just want to bite it. Yes. Yeah. Citrus mist. Mm. You can smell the mist. You can smell like you're in an orange field, you're in a lemon field. It's not like you're smelling an orange right up in your face. Very citrus mist. Yeah? Yeah. 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 And it's not a come great out and get you. It's going to be a medium scent. If you want it real strong on your soap, you're going to have to put a bit. I'm not fond of that one. Musk. It smells like musk. It's not a real strong musk like you sometimes get with uh, incense. I just don't it's a medium musk. Uh, it would be good to musk up any other male scent that you're doing, like the woodland, like woodland musk. You could add yeah. some musk to that one. But I'm not a the musk. The sun and sand. Musk up the sun and sand. That might actually make it smell. But by itself, no. I'm sorry. I do not like it. Mm -mm. I don't like the French vanilla either. I don't like the chocolate mint. And I don't like the musk. No. Nope. But you could use it to enhance other male scents, and it would be a great thing to do. Okay, oh. champagne. I don't even like the musk. They sell champagne the has a really nice smell. I like it. I love it. It smells yeah. very champagne-y. It smells clean. It smells very clean. It's a medium, too strong scent. It's not super strong. Won't take a lot in soap. This one's great. Yeah. It's very light. It's very light. It's pleasant but light. Yeah, it smells just like grapes. It might be good to put in the wine. Yeah. To grape it up a little bit, but it is a weaker scent. 
it doesn't come out and grab you. Uh, gonna have to have a lot in soap to get the smell good and strong. Unless you the like heat. a weak smell, yeah. Unless the heat affects some, you know, can be affected by heat. This is violet. It it doesn't have that reach out and grab you violet. It smells like violets, but it's missing a little spark, like yeah. the lily of the valley was. Like it's almost there. It's almost there. It's, it's really miss, nice. You know, it's missing that greenness. I don't know. Maybe with the citrus mist. There's just something that's missing. It's try, pleasant. Try, 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 it's try. pleasant. It's nice. Try with them together. It helped, yes. It helped. Yes. It, it doesn't have a green scent to it. Maybe if you put green grass with it. Mm -hmm. They have one named green grass. We're out of it at the moment. All right. So that's my review possible that some of these are not currently on stock on essential depots website um they you know sometimes they're they run out of one and they lose a supplier or they can't get it back or maybe nobody freaking bought it and they decide not to sell it anymore yeah. but um like the musk it may be one that ends up not being available after a while um but in any case that's our review of essential depot fragrance oils and what we think of them and what they smell like and you know, basically our opinion. Yep. <laughs> All right, so uh, you can go to www.kimberlymatnut.com, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y-M-C-N-U-T-T.com to hear, I mean, to go to my Soper's help pages. Um, but you can also go to my website if you'd like to buy some soap at www.essential-soaps.com. All right, and that's S-O-A-P-S. It's more than one. All right, and we appreciate your, um, you watching our videos, and I thank you for hitting the like button. Do it now, do it now, do it now. And I thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Do it now, do it now. And make sure you've done it right. Make sure you did it right. Check. <laughs> and uh, thanks for leaving us a comment. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.